Ernest Hemingway, 1899-1961, born in Oak Park, Illinois, started his career as a writer in a newspaper office in Kansas City at the age of 17. After the United States entered the First World War, he joined a volunteer ambulance unit in the Italian Army. Serving at the front, he was wounded, was decorated by the Italian government, and spent considerable time in hospitals. After his return to the United States, he became a reporter for Canadian and American newspapers and was soon sent back to Europe to cover such events as the Great Revolution. During the 20s, Hemingway became a member of the group of expatriate Americans in Paris which he described in his first important work, The Sun Also Rises, 1926. Equally successful was A Farewell to Arms, 1929. The study of an American ambulance officer's disillusionment in the war and his role as a deserter. Hemingway used his experiences as a reporter during the civil war in Spain as the background for his most ambitious novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls, 1940. Among his later works, the most outstanding is the short novel, The Old Man and the Sea, 1952. The story of an old fisherman's journey, his long and lonely struggle with the fish and the sea, and his victory and defeat. Hemingway, himself a great sportsman, liked to portray soldiers, hunters, bullfighters, tough, at times primitive people whose courage and honesty are set against the brutal ways of modern society and who, in this confrontation, lose hope and faith. His straightforward prose, his bad dialogue, and his predilection for understatement are particularly effective in his short stories some of which are collected in Men Without Women, 1927, and the fifth column and the first 49 stories, 1938. Hemingway died in Idaho in 1961.